Hello everyone, Michelle here from Level 28 Media and in today's video I am going to be doing a deep dive landing page review for Preferred Pest Management out in Dallas, Texas. So if you like these types of videos, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel. And shout out to Griffin Thomas, the business owner, for allowing me to do this um, audit and review. So I will be looking at both the desktop and mobile versions of his landing page and I'll go ahead and dive in here. Uh, so right now what I'm seeing on the desktop version is above the fold, everything before I start scrolling down. And what I'm seeing here is a lot of calls to actions to call. There's a phone number, call, call, call. So I know clearly that the business owner wants the user to call, but there's also a call to action to access the customer portal. Now, if you are only driving Google Ads traffic uh, to your landing page, it's very unlikely that you're going to be driving your own customers to your landing page, unless you're bidding on your own brand terms. Um, but I really think that it's not really that necessary to have access customer portal here because it's very unlikely that someone that's going to be coming from Google ads is going to be wanting to access your customer portal. I think you can remove this entirely, put this on your main website. Uh, but I don't think it necessarily belongs on a landing page like this for Google ads. The next thing that I would say is put the phone number here and then put the parentheses and the dash between the numbers just for formatting purposes. I think it's going to definitely look a lot more professional that way. And then maybe use a contrasting color so that it pops out some more. The next thing is you have the five star review rating. I would say probably take that and put that down here because that adds trust right below the call to action that you want them to take. So with that, you could actually remove this um, this top piece and then move the rest up. So you save some space. The next here you have a call now button. I don't really think it's necessary to have it so many times. I think if you have it once here and then once here, that's perfectly fine. So I would suggest you to just remove that or use this space for some type of um, some type of unique uh, information that you want to show a showcase to a customer. So maybe just saying something like serving the Dallas Fort Worth area or something like that. Um, the next huge thing that really pops out to me before I scroll down is the picture of the bed bug. Um, it's not very attractive, but um, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> um, and I I don't know. I'd be curious to see how this does versus a picture of like a happy family that's, you know, sitting on a bed, um, you know, with that just, you know, it evokes a happy emotion versus, you know, a picture of a bug that seems a little bit gross. And I know that the reason why they're even looking is because they have these pests that they want to get rid of. Uh, but I would test different images and see what works better. Um, but with the headline, I would actually use this space to really agitate pain and show the user why you are the solution to their pain. And what we're looking to do is, you know, ask users, are you tired of, um, of dealing with bed bugs? Are you tired of, you know, whatever issues you're, you're dealing with? with a question mark and then tell them who you are and maybe use the sub headline section to this section could be your sub headline up, up here. Um, I think that that's probably a better use of this space. Um, I see where you're going with experience bed bug free living within 24 hours, but I would really try to agitate pain first before trying to sell the, um, the outcome of, you know, what all this um, could be. That's just a thought here. And then click to call now. Uh, put the phone number here too. And I think it'll be, it'll look good. I like that you have a contrasting color that really pops out. The next thing here is we are the number one bed bug treatment company in DFW. I would say that maybe here is, maybe you want to say what makes us different and then have the bullet points. Um, Remember, when someone's coming to your landing page, they're not going to be reading. So do not have any uh, paragraphs. And this is just general advice for anyone that's watching this uh, because uh, clearly Griffin knows that, he, you know, not to put paragraphs of text. He has things broken out, which is great. 
Um, but yeah, don't have too much uh, chunks of text and have things broken out. I would just change this headline and then put a few more stars here just so that it looks more full. And then here we have the form. Um, for the form, because I told you to move this up here, we really need a call to action up here and then on the button. So I would say here is like, uh, get your free estimate. And then, you know, here we have the name, phone number, email, zip code. I don't think you're asking for too much information. I think it's just right. The only thing is for the form, it's very stretched out. I would want it more consolidated, uh, make the fields a little bit skinnier. Um, and just because when it's stretched out, it looks like you're asking for too much information. Even though you're only asking the user to fill in five fields, it looks like a lot. Um, so that's what I would update. And then I would move the submit button to the center and use a contrasting color that's going to stand out. Because right now you're using green on green. It's really hard to see. Um, even though it's white, technically, the white text on green. And then I would change the call to action. Submit is kind of a, it's a call to action that is, it's like the default call to action, but it's not really a good call to action. We want users to know exactly what they're going to be doing. Um, so we'll, my suggestion here was say, get my free estimate or get your free estimate exclamation point, center it and make it big. So then the users know exactly what, you, what they're going to be getting after they submit this. Um, and hopefully if you have this program correctly, it's either going to turn into some type of message here, or it's going to direct you to a thank you page. Um, that's going to give them the next steps. Now as I scroll down to the next section, the problem, the solution, and the best warranty. This section needs a headline. I would suggest you maybe say, why choose preferred pest management, question mark, and then have all this there. I think that that's good. Um, because you're mentioning what you guys do that's different and why should people choose you over another company, uh, another competitor. So that's great. Now I would, this. now I'm assuming this is another section here with the, um, with the Google reviews. I love that you have reviews because people really underestimate the what testimonials and reviews can do for you. It just adds a layer of trust. Um, and I love that you already have 100 five-star reviews on Google. I just think it could be showcased better here. Um, so for one, removing some of this white uh, white uh, space and just like formatting it a little bit nicer. Um, the next thing here is I would put the headshot of the user. If they're already using their headshot in their Google review, you can put that in the actual um, testimonial. Um, and I noticed here when I was scrolling, Arshita, this one doesn't have a testimonial, so I would go in and, and fix that. Um, but other than that, I like that you have all these other ones here. The other thing here, just nitpicking, uh, but I think is important. We have over 100 five-star reviews. You don't have to say we have, you can just say over a hundred five-star reviews. Maybe instead of having two numbers next to each other, cause it, it seems like it's clashing almost maybe have a five dash star reviews. So we have maybe you could say hundreds. Maybe just remove this and just say hundreds, spell out hundreds of, and then five dash star reviews. That way it looks a lot cleaner on Google. And then you're good to go. The next thing that I see here is the phone number. I see that um, it has a bright contrasting yellow color that's, that sticks out, fantastic. And then I would put some white space here just to break up this section, this section, so it doesn't look like it's all clumped together. And then I see that you've got your picture here. I'm not sure what this, this um, image is, uh, some badge. I would maybe make this picture bigger so the user can see what this is. Um, but discover the preferred difference. Um, I think that's fine. I don't think you necessarily need to have, if you're going to do call now in yellow, I would say make it consistent across the board. Um, I think that that's just going to be easy on the eyes that really like pops out. So I know every time I see yellow, that's an option to call. And then, yeah, put a little bit of white space here. I love that you have your, um, your service area all drawn out so people know. Or you can even do something where you list out all the cities, but I guess this is easier because people can see. 
you've got a form here with first name, last name, email, phone number, address, city. Okay, so a couple of things about this form. I would make it consistent with what you had above. And then um, like with having the the call to action at the top instead of a submit button here, you know, have it change to the other, um, you know, call to action, center it. The other thing here is um, I don't think it's necessary to ask for address and city because it's kind of asking for too much. And it's hard for me to think that someone that is just inquiring would be really that interested to or be comfortable giving out their address to a company um, without even talking to them. So I think that this is kind of asking for a lot. And it, you might also want to check, is this all mandatory? Um as in the way that the, the form is programmed, because if it's not mandatory with the asterisk, then um, you know someone could just fill in their first name and then submit and then not give you any more information. The next one is, are you a current customer? I don't necessarily think that this is important unless you get a lot of repeat business, um, but I don't know, I, I, I don't think that that's necessary. And how can we help you? It doesn't have to be this big of a space. Maybe make it like half, and I think that that will be good. Um, okay, so then we have this section. Have a question or two, send us a message, and we'll reply as soon as possible. With the landing page, you have to remember that the goal is to get someone to either submit a form or contact uh, or through the contact form. So you have your phone number here again. Maybe put it in yellow to, to really stand out. You don't need to put your your email address there because if someone fills this out, this is going to be going to your email anyway. Um, it's very unlikely that someone's going to go here and then copy and paste and then you know send an email. So I don't really think it's necessary. Um, address, that's fine. Business hours, so 24 hours. Connect with us. You don't need to have all these buttons here because you're linking out to other pages. With a landing page, you want to keep the traffic on that page and you don't want to have links out to other places because you start to lose them. Someone's going to go here and then click on your Google, uh, your Instagram, and then they might get lost because, you know, they end up seeing their friend on Instagram um, and then they don't actually end up contacting you. So I just feel like this is a lot of distraction that's not necessary. And then pest control service area. I think that this is important to put Maybe, maybe somewhere in this area here because it's kind of repetitive to have it here and then down here. So I would just say maybe put that up here and then that's it. And then let's take a look at your mobile version really quick. Okay, let's see. Da da. Okay, phone number, it needs to be centered. And then all the other comments that I made for everything else uh, apply. Center this, you know, um, have the headline. Get rid of this white space. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, maybe put this form up here at uh, where is contact us. Because it's all the way at the bottom. And then something else I noticed is this button. What does this take me to? Oh, it's taking me to the customer portal. I don't think that's necessary because most of the people coming here are not going to be your own existing customers. Unless there's something that um, uh, I don't know uh, about your business that might uh, might attract existing customers in. But I don't think that this is necessary at all if you're just trying to get... Uh, warm traffic from Google to convert. But that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, hopefully you found it helpful. And I love to see what your page looks like when it's done. If you are, are a pest control company and you're looking for assistance with your landing page or um, an audit, uh, feel free to reach out. Um, and I'd be more than happy to help. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please give it a thumbs up. And uh, I will and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.